Hey girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lauren Mueller, and don't forget you can follow me on Instagram at loremules, L-A-U-R-M-U-E-L-L-S. I would love to follow you guys back and check out your pages on there. Um, okay, so today I am doing a makeup tutorial. I'm gonna go as quick as possible. I wanna kinda do like what I do just for my basic everyday running errands out of the house type thing. Um, and if you guys have any questions about my hair, how it's done today, you can check that out on my channel too. That's what I did for my hair today. And these curls will last me a good five days. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. First two things I put on my face that I already did, I'm not gonna show you guys here. I did my, hey honey, good morning, honey silk facial serum. I love this. You put it on in the morning and you can use it under your makeup. It says provides a smooth and glossy appearance to your skin. I love the dewy look. Comment below and tell me, do you guys like the dewy look or the matte look? I know the dewy look has come back in. It's crazy because I used to do everything I could in high school to like mattify my face. And now I love dewy. So I do that first. Next step, I use my Senegence Silk Wrinkle and Pore Minimizer. Um, this is a primer. Let me tell you guys really quickly a little primer trick. First of all, you need a little bit only like you don't need a ton. I do about a half pump. When you're putting it on, you wanna push it down into your pores, not rub up. This is a one makeup product you actually wanna push down. And then you wanna let it dry. A primer that is gonna hold your makeup on all day, you can't just slap your foundation on right away afterwards. You need to let it dry. So that's what I did to my face. Next, I am using my Make Sense Foundation by Senegence, which, um, any of the scented and stuff that I use in my video today, you guys can order straight through me. I have a way to get you a discount. The other stuff, I'll link all down below. So I use the color Suede right now in the summer. I love their foundation because it adjusts up or down three shades. So even if I'm a little paler, like I need a spray tan right now, I can still use this and it literally is a color matching like crazy technology. So I like to put like a pump and a half on my hand and um, use it straight for my hand. I'm using the Morphe M439 brush. This is my favorite foundation brush. So now remember, when you're putting it on, if you do circular motions like that, that provides a little more of a sheer coverage. If you dab, stipple like that, it provides a thicker coverage. So I still have a ton on my hand. I just slowly get a little bit for each area. I do my eyelids too. I'm careful to avoid my eyebrows as I don't really want that like tacky product in there and I don't want to cover up. Um, my eyebrows are microbladed, so I don't want to cover up those, the color. And even if you're, they're not microbladed, you don't want makeup in there where you're gonna be putting eyebrow stuff later. My forehead, I don't need as much coverage, so I just blend it out. So, and make sure you always blend down into your neck. Like I said, this is really good at color matching, so it doesn't really show a difference, but you don't want it to be like a drastic line. Okay, next step. This is also Senegence. It is their Shadow Sense in the color Candlelight, which has like a salmony pink undertone. And what I love about that is that salmony pink cancels out green and blue. So, this stuff is waterproof long-lasting crease proof. It's like an eyeshadow that I am actually gonna use on my eyes later. You guys will see that. I love things I can use for more than one purpose. But it dries, it sets in two minutes. So you've got two minutes till that stuff is like in place. So don't let it, don't leave it for too long. I like to leave mine for a tiny bit because it comes out liquid and it dries to a cream. I leave it for a tiny bit so that it gets um, like a little more tacky to work with. And then I just, I put it specifically where those blue, my blue green kind of problem area are. Next, also by Senegence, which really you guys, I totally um, order this stuff in bulk and get a discount, but this is what I use every day. Like, cannot live without this stuff. There are a few things I use that aren't, but this is what I do use. I'm totally upfront and honest with you guys. This is the Senegence Color Concealer in white. Looks a little crazy in the bottle. Whenever I tell people to use this, they're like, are you sure? I use about that much. And you wanna put it in a triangle, kind of the point that points down towards your chin. That kind of lifts your eye up. 
which again this isn't like a crazy full highlight contour video I'll use whatever's left over on the tip of the tube to go down my nose if you have a really narrow nose you might not need this next up we are gonna do a little bit of contouring again Senegens this is another one of their um, waterproof eyeshadows that lasts all day in the color Mocha Java. You want your contour to have like gray undertones kind of, so it looks really like a shadow. And see, I just use a little bit. And I am using this blush brush. I like it because it's big and poofy. And don't worry guys, I'll link all that stuff down below. I kind of hold the ends together so it's a little more stiff. I have a little more control circular motions I buff it back you put you want to put them right where if you did that fish face right where your little lines are so if you're new to doing makeup see how you can see where my hollow, cheekbone hollow is and remember this is the same stuff as we put under our eyes so it's gonna set in two minutes go up around to your temples they say it should be like a three backwards three so I did my temples up there I just put a little bit so and this basically gives you a jawline regardless of how skinny or not skinny your jaw is this will make it your neck not blend in basically to your chin won't blend into your neck you want to really buff that out well and last but not least my least favorite feature I'm gonna help it out a little bit you don't want these lines to be too far apart where they can actually make your nose look wider. And I just did a little bit. As you can tell, it's not like a full line because I'm going to buff it out with this brush. And this is where I really pinch it. You want to go all the way up, eyebrow down to the bottom. We're babysitting our friend's dog, stretching in the background. And sometimes put whatever's left on the brush under my lip, which again, we're, the whole point of contouring and bronzing really is creating a shadow to accentuate what's already there. My cheekbones already have the hollows there. I'm just trying to accentuate it. One thing I love about Senegens products is that they're long lasting. They stay on all day. So this is their blush sense. It comes in a bunch of different colors. It's long lasting, stays on all day. This is called Pinkberry. Again, looks kind of crazy in the tube, doesn't it? But you, I just use what's left on like the lid from being closed. Put a tiny dab. You want to put this on the apples of your cheeks. See how there's like a ball on my cheeks? And you want to do circular again to buff it and you're gonna buff back like back towards your ear and this looks way brighter in this light than it is in real life oh I forgot to tell you guys the blush brush I used is contour brush I like it because it's small and you don't want blush all over you just want it on the apples of your cheeks our next step is the Senegens translucent powder I love this because it absorbs oil all day and then my powder brush I'm gonna use is Real Techniques Buffing Brush. So I got enough powder for both sides. And more. I put this even in my eyebrows because it's more sheer and it just is gonna give your product something to cling to on your eyebrows if it's not tacky but it's more of a matte. Okay, but so see how it looked a little crazy when I had that white under my eyes or that bright pink blush but when you put the finishing powder on it, it just like blends it all in. Okay, so next we are going to do, this is again Senegens, um, Make Sense. It's one of their foundations in a tester. It's called Pearlizer is the color. I love this. And don't forget you guys, I can get you a discount on all the Senegens stuff. But I would not put it in a video unless I really loved it and used it. So I'm highlighting or illuminating more so with this. Look at that pretty glow. So pretty, it just gives you the best glow. And because of the way their powder and their products work together, you can, like I'm putting this over the powder and the powder is so sheer, it's not cakey. So these are all the areas I'm gonna do. Okay. Really highlight to your lip up there. And then whatever's left over on my finger, I just rub on my brow bone. Another one of the Senegens eyeshadow, Shadow Sense, in the color Snow. Again, bright white. People are always thinking I'm crazy. When they see I'm gonna put this on my makeup, they 
face brush. You just need like a, I use like a flat eyeliner brush. So a lot of people will put shimmer here, which is fun for some looks, but for just like an everyday, you don't want to add shimmer right there because it can sometimes accentuate like your under eye bags. And you also don't want to um, add something that will crease. So that's why I love this because this is crease proof. All their eyeshadows are. And it just really brightens up. I swear when I do this, it takes five years off my face. And then I just blend it with my finger before it dries with whatever's left over on my brush. I'm just gonna rub it under my brow arch and blend it out with my finger. Okay, this is the Mocha Java that we used for our contouring. Taking some off the wand. And I'm just gonna put it in my crease. I love this one for just a natural crease deepening. It doesn't have shimmer, it's not crazy like, oh girl, you did your makeup. It's just a nice matte. Makes your eyes look bigger, deepens your crease, opens your eye. So I just blend it in at the corner there. That's it. So that was a Mocha Java. We use that for our contouring. I just put it in my eye and then I'm gonna use it again in my eyebrows. So amazing. Okay, next step, which these eyeshadows, I'm gonna use Candlelight, again, that I use under our eyes. It has that pinky salmon undertone. It's a super good, just like base eyeshadow color. And what I was gonna say was these eyeshadows, if you use your finger whenever you can, like I used it under my eye, the warmth of your finger really helps blend them in. So I put just the teensiest, tiniest bit along my lash line just to open my eye and I'm blending it up and out into that mocha java that I already did. So this is the trick to eyebrows. You're just gonna, first you're just gonna get like on the stick and then in the beginning, the front part of your eyebrow, you want to go up, which is the natural direction the hairs grow. And then you're gonna follow your arch. And then I always do these, just follow the way your hair grows. So see how these kind of grow down? And then, hold on, I gotta wipe it off a little. And then I'll go back in along the top. But these should be the most prominent going upward. See how it just gives like a little more definition to that brow. Like I said, my eyebrows are microbladed, which I love. And if you guys are local, I will, um, Link the girl who does mine, she's amazing. So once again, up at the beginning, all the arch. Then these little start at the top of your arch and go down. And then I'm gonna hit the top of it and blend into it. Then I like to let them sit for a minute because remember we have two minutes for this stuff to dry. How many times have I said two minutes in this video? Um, and then I use the other end of this brush. This one I can link for you guys below also. It's from e.l.f. and it's amazing. It's like five bucks and it's seriously my favorite brush. It has this angled brush at the end and this spoolie at that end. So I just brush through my brows Okay, I'm gonna slap on a little um, gloss. I love this gloss. It just has like a pink tint. And it has vitamin E oil and shea butter. So it's super moisturizing. Oh, wait, I forgot. I gotta finish up this um, brow thing. I'm gonna use Shine Fiber Brow. This, oh, I love, and I have a discount code for you guys. It has little hairs that adhere. Kind of like, do you guys remember when that mascara was a huge craze with all those hairs? This is the same, but for brows. So I wipe it off because I don't want it to be crazy. They do have different shades. So I love, I'm using that waterproof eyeshadow underneath and then this, which the hairs just adhere to your hairs. I scrape off the brush a little so it's not too much because this is kind of a new bottle. It's just these little fibrous hairs stick to your, they stick in between, fill in your spots that you need more and this stays on, I'm not kidding you, all day. So, last but not least, like I said, the part I'm gonna get a little bit closer for is my eyelashes. So, a lot of people, I literally get soft all the time, like, do you have fake eyelashes? No, I don't. 
here's what I use. <clears throat> I use the Cinegens Under Sense, which is a lash builder. It hydrates your lashes and also is kind of like a primer that builds them before you put on your mascara. And then I use this MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, which I will link below. What I love about this is I cannot do waterproof. It takes way too long to get off my lashes. This is not waterproof, but it doesn't come off unless it's under hot water. It has a temperature sensing technology. Insane. So, I'm gonna use this lash builder really quick. I put as much of this on as I can and I'm not like super careful about it. Another trick a bunch of people told me they didn't know was that you guys have to do the top of your lashes like this. This the part that faces your eyelid and your eyebrow. So many people apparently didn't do this. They told me in my last video. I was amazed. I couldn't believe it. Getting real up close and personal with you guys for this one. This is kind of a gray color, which is nice because then you know where it is and you can make sure you cover it. Last step, and then we're done with our quick everyday makeup, is this mascara. I know some people wiggle and stuff. This is the best way. Just straight. And always do your bottom lashes. This opens up your eye and makes it pop. You don't want your bottom lashes to be heavier and thicker than your top, but you do want to have a little down there. So then what I always do, I don't know that you'd consider this a second coat, but I always re dip my wand before my it dries and go back in. Just really make sure they're coated. Have you guys ever used a lash comb? I'm kind of wondering if I should try one. If you have, especially if you have a good one, comment down below and let me know. I'm looking for a good one to kind of just comb out the clumps before this other side really dries with the under scents. Gonna get over here on the top. Bottom. You want to get as close to your lash line as you can so there's no gap. Don't stab yourself in the eye. And then get in this corner, back and forth in the corner where the lashes connect. That also really helps open. Guys, this light is so bright, my eyes are going to water. Okay, now on to my second coat on that same. I know a lot of you do double coats. I have found when you do two coats of mascara, like another coat after it's dry, it gets like clumpy. It just is weird. So what I like to do is now that it's kind of dry, I just hit the tips. I don't want to get down in the roots where it's all dry. Okay girls, that's it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the products I've used, how to do any of it. I would love to answer your questions and help you girls out. This is one of my passions, so much fun for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below and let me know if you did. Subscribe, like, and I can't wait for my next video next week. Bye girls. Oh, and girls, I wanted to tell you, because I know you'll ask, this Choose Kind Tea is from my friend's Etsy shop and she gave me a discount code for you girls. I love this, I'm all about kindness and supporting others, so I'm gonna put it down in the description for you guys. Hope you get yourself 